Following a stunning victory over Demetrius Andrade, David Benavidez has showcased his dominance in the world of boxing, proving himself as an undeniable force. Despite facing an opponent naturally larger and stronger, the Mexican monster not only secured the win, but utterly dominated his opponent. This marked the first defeat for Andrade in his boxing career, sparking global enthusiasm for Benavidez's prowess. Now, the spotlight shifts to what's next for this Mexican fighter, and there's one particular opponent he's been eyeing, none other than Canelo Alvarez. Yes, the anticipated battle between Alvarez and Benavidez is the fight that the boxing world eagerly awaits. Following Benavidez's exceptional performance against Andrade, there's substantial reason to believe that he's primed to face the king of the ring. Talks are buzzing with anticipation for this clash of titans, signaling Benavidez's readiness to take on Alvarez and potentially claim the throne in the world of boxing. The highly anticipated clash has already sparked widespread interest among fans eager for this fight to materialize. However, not everyone shares the same enthusiasm as there's one individual who vehemently opposes this matchup. That person is none other than Terence Crawford. Surprisingly, Bud is adamantly against Benavidez facing Canelo, presumably for his own reasons. You know, he coming behind his jab, he throwing straight punches, he going to the body, going in up, up and down. He just got tightened up a little bit on his defense, but other than that, man, he good. He ready for Canelo. We know you want Canelo. How's that fight look, How does the Canelo fight look with Benavidez? Who do you think? Uh, I still got it at 50-50. Uh, Benavidez good, but Canelo is, you know what I mean, great. We just got, to no, we'll see the fight, man. We all want to see the fight. You think he gets him to the body? Because cause Booba was laying a lot of body shots. I don't know. That's why I said we got to watch the fight. You know what I mean? It's, it's a different style, different type of uh, fighter. You got two strong, strong fighters going head to head. Is Canelo the only 68 you fight, or would you consider a Benavidez? Yeah, Canelo, Canelo the only one. When news reached Crawford that Canelo might be squaring off against Benavidez in the next bout, he expressed strong discontent. It's evident that Crawford wasn't pleased about this potential matchup. Without delay, let's delve deeper into this brewing drama. Who you got? <laughs> this nigga This dude? Oh, this dude. Now you see me with him, I might smack him. You know what I mean? Initially, when Benavidez first called out Canelo Alvarez, many dismissed it as a far-fetched idea. People widely believed that Canelo operated on an entirely different level, seemingly superior to Benavidez in skill and stature. The Mexican powerhouse, David Benavidez, defied all expectations by dismantling Andrade, a fighter previously deemed an indomitable force. Andrade, known for his resilience, found himself at the mercy of Benavidez, who knocked him out in the eighth round. This remarkable feat speaks volumes. A boxer who had never tasted defeat in his career was decisively defeated. It's a display of skill that's undeniably impressive. Even Canelo Alvarez must have been impressed. However, Terence Crawford's reaction was quite the opposite. He appeared furious and understandably so. Crawford has long held a fervent desire to face Canelo in the ring. It's been his dream fight, seemingly within reach until David Benavidez emerged and stole the limelight, including the potential Canelo showdown. Naturally, this turn of events left Crawford visibly displeased. In a recent interview, when asked about his thoughts on the Benavidez versus Canelo matchup, Crawford's response likely reflected his discontent and frustration with the situation. He remarked that Benavidez is undoubtedly skilled, but Canelo, well, he's undeniably great. According to him, Benavidez isn't prepared for someone of Canelo's caliber. He sees Benavidez as a mid-tier fighter. Crawford firmly believes that he, not Benavidez, is the one who can defeat Canelo. Comparatively, he views Benavidez as a novice compared to the established boxing legends. In Crawford's opinion, Benavidez should reconsider facing Canelo as he predicts a swift victory for the latter. However, I wouldn't entirely agree with Crawford's assessment. Benavidez showcased an exceptional level of skill in his recent fight. If anyone seems prepared to take on Canelo, it's David Benavidez. Interestingly, Crawford is well aware of Benavidez's potential to outshine Canelo in the ring. This insight reveals Crawford's fear. He doesn't want the Mexican monster to triumph in this fight. Crawford desires to be the one to end Canelo's career. 
and if Benavidez enters the ring with Alvarez, it wouldn't be shocking if David manages to secure one of the greatest upsets in boxing history, emerging as the hero. Regardless of opinions about Benavidez, the potential for an upset victory is undeniably present. However, even Crawford found himself somewhat impressed by Benavidez's TKO victory over Andrade. To support this claim, just consider what Crawford himself had to say. He praised Benavidez, acknowledging his spectacular performance and labeling him as one of the best offensive fighters in the sport. Crawford highlighted Benavidez's relentless nature, noting his intelligent pressure tactics, adept jab, precise straight punches, and effective body shots. Despite these accolades, Crawford pointed out the need for Benavidez to refine his defensive skills, but overall, he recognized Benavidez's proficiency. Following this, when asked if he believed Benavidez was prepared for Canelo, Crawford responded swiftly, stating, I said he's good. I didn't say he's great. Great, he's not me. Crawford's self-confidence is evident in his words. However, it's crucial to note that taking on Canelo wouldn't equate to finishing the job for Crawford. Beating Canelo, should that fight materialize for Crawford, would still leave him with the monumental task of conquering the formidable Canelo Alvarez. This reality highlights the magnitude of the challenge indicating that merely securing the fight with Canelo wouldn't signify the end of the road for Crawford. Canelo Alvarez displays extraordinary prowess inside the ring, and facing him is no trivial matter. It's understandable that Crawford might be upset that Benavidez seemingly took away that opportunity, but let's face reality. Crawford wasn't necessarily guaranteed a win against Canelo. In fact, Benavidez might have inadvertently spared Crawford from a potentially embarrassing defeat. This isn't to undermine Crawford's skill. He's undoubtedly an exceptional boxer. However, for Crawford to challenge Canelo, he'd have to move up not just one or two, but three weight classes, a significant leap. This weight difference would significantly impact Crawford's abilities. Moving up three weight classes would likely make him slower and weaker compared to his current form. It's precisely in this scenario that Canelo could exploit vulnerabilities. On the other hand, Benavidez might have a shot here. He possesses the qualities necessary to overthrow Canelo. And this isn't just my opinion. It's backed by the words of the legendary boxer Mike Tyson himself. Yes, indeed. Here's the thing. Iron Mike himself mentioned that Benavidez could defeat anyone. He's a force to be reckoned with inside the ring. Honestly, if I were in that division, I'd feel intimidated to face him. It seems like no one stands a chance against him, and I'm speaking based on solid facts. David Benavidez is the fighter to keep a keen eye on. He's the singular individual I believe could outmatch Canelo. Now, when Mike Tyson himself is heaping praise on you, it means you're something extraordinary. Mike isn't someone who throws compliments around lightly. So if Mike is acknowledging all these qualities about David Benavidez, it's not something to dismiss. Mike's understanding of boxing is unparalleled. We know that opportunities to challenge the best in the business don't come around every day. Benavidez will give his absolute best. He's not just a remarkable fighter, he's incredibly entertaining, and he adds tremendous value to the sport of boxing. This individual possesses an exceptional ability for verbal sparring, unlike anything I've witnessed before. So when Crawford took a jab at him, suggesting that Benavidez wasn't prepared for Canelo, he swiftly retaliated. He labeled Crawford as a jealous guy, emphasizing his jealousy in a somewhat amusing manner. At this stage, it appears Terence Crawford talks a big game, but his skills might not match up. According to Benavidez, he could defeat Crawford easily, and even Canelo acknowledges Benavidez's superiority over Crawford. Otherwise, argues Benavidez, Canelo would be facing Crawford, not him. This raises a significant point. Does Canelo genuinely believe that Benavidez is superior to Bud? I'd venture to say yes, and here's the reasoning behind it. Witnessing the Mexican monster utterly dominate his opponent, Andrade left Canelo Alvarez profoundly impressed, unlike anything we've witnessed previously. This Mexican sensation isn't typically one to shower praise on fellow fighters. I mean, he even went head-to-head -head with Mayweather and doesn't regard him highly as a boxer. Now that's quite unbelievable. However, Canelo had plenty to say about David's performance. He commended the excellent boxing displayed, praising Benavidez's head movement, agility, solid defense, and surprisingly, his punching power. It was evident that Demetrius Andrade was caught off guard by Benavidez's striking ability. Canelo acknowledged Benavidez's skills and anticipates a tough challenge ahead. Canelo realizes that Benavidez poses a legitimate threat to his reign. He understands it won't be an easy night for anyone facing Benavidez in the ring. This buildup hints at what could be one of the most thrilling fights in the scene. 
Meanwhile, Crawford seems to be dealing with his own frustrations. As much as fans would love to witness a showdown between Crawford and Alvarez, the probability of that happening is slim to none. Sure, these two have a genuine rivalry that needs settling inside the ring, and it could indeed make for an entertaining bout. However, Crawford moving up to a higher weight class might not pose significant challenges for Alvarez. After all, nobody enjoys watching a match that seems one-sided from the beginning. Fans are craving an intense showdown, as evidenced by the buzzing conversations dominating Twitter at this moment. The spotlight is solely on Benavidez and Canelo, leaving Crawford largely sidelined. The sentiment is clear. For a genuine challenge, pit Benavidez against Canelo. That's the fight everyone desires to witness, including Terence Crawford, who wouldn't dare miss a moment of that epic clash. Fans highlighted Canelo's established reign as the king, but hinted at Benavidez's potential to dethrone him. The sentiment echoes the belief that Benavidez possesses the tools required to outclass Canelo. The fervor surrounding the Benavidez hype train is palpable, setting the stage for another thrilling night in the boxing world. All we can do now is wait and see how this captivating drama unfolds. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.